Hey, this is Aaron Luttrell with FC Tucker MD Realtors, and I just wanted to make a quick introduction to this video. Uh, what you're going to be watching today is actually a live Facebook uh, broadcast that I did with Tyler Hines of the Mortgage Company of Southern Indiana, uh, introducing what I call my roadmap for home buyers. There's a lot of great information here for anybody who's thinking of either buying their first home or maybe you've purchased a home before, but it's been a while and you just want some good information on how to get started and what the entire process uh, looks like. So uh, take a look at what we've gone through. If you have any questions at any point in time, I will link uh, my contact information in the description to this video as well as uh, Tyler's uh, too. So without further ado, check out my roadmap for home buyers. Thanks. So um, we do have everything ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, I'm here with uh, Tyler Hines with the Mortgage Company of Southern Indiana tonight uh, talking about my roadmap for home buyers. This is a document that I have that I put together for all the buyers that I work with that really kind of outlines the entire process of purchasing a home. There's a right way and a wrong way to go about doing things. And I like to meet with my people at the beginning and go through the right way in the right pr process to go from uh, looking to buying a home. So um, there's really five steps that I wanna go through tonight. Um, and also I will let you know that this is a PDF that is available, that if you're interested in getting a copy of this, uh, private message me your email address and I can email this out directly to you um, so you have this information to go over as well. But it's a five step process that I wanna talk about tonight to go from thinking of buying a home to becoming a homeowner. So there's really, um, really important part that you need to do first before you get into the buying process and that is determining what you can afford and the easiest way to do that is to think about what your monthly payment is that you're comfortable with and going online finding a mortgage calculator and trying to determine what price point that really is um, based on that uh, mortgage payment that you're comfortable with easiest way to do that is to go to my website it's the AaronAdvantage.com. Uh, scroll down to uh, the bottom of the page right there off the home page and it does have a, a real basic mortgage calculator right there for you to give you an idea of what price range you're looking at um, to be comfortable with the payment that you're looking at the second step before you ever look at a home is talking to a lender and getting pre-approved um, and this is really tyler's area of expertise so i'm gonna kind of let him talk about that process and let you know specifically what he thinks is the best thing to do when getting pre-approved for a mortgage. So, Tyler? Thanks, Aaron. Um, yeah, Aaron's exactly right uh, with that. Uh, I'm Tyler Hines with the Tyler Hines Mortgage Team, and uh, one, of the, one of the most important things to do uh, is to start early. That's what I always recommend people. Uh, start at least two to three months early uh, on the pre-approval process. So if you think you're gonna look for a house this spring, now's a great time to get started with that. The reason being, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, mainly if there's, if there's a problem, if there's an issue, uh, we can identify that issue now. Uh, so you're not going and falling in love with a house, uh, getting, getting you know, under a contract to buy a house, earnest money's exchanging hands, you've got appraisals out, you've got, you're trying to move and pack and the seller's trying to move and pack. That, that's the wrong time to figure out if there is going to be uh, an issue. So uh, we can uh, identify it early. Most good experienced loan officers can fix um, most of the problems that cause hiccups, that cause uh, issues, that cause deals to fall through in a two to three month window. So don't be nervous about that. Uh, the earlier you start the process, the, the better. Uh, another reason would be even if there's not an issue, a uh, good experienced loan officer can help you uh, take the steps to, to, to know what to do, what not to do, to make sure that you're gonna qualify for the best programs at the best interest rates um, and have the smoothest Kind of want to Time interject to right there. Sure. He's talking about the best programs and the best rates, and um, I want him to kind of unpack that a little bit to talk a little bit more about programs because there are a lot of different options that are available that better suit people's needs um, as far as down payment options and stuff like that. So if you can give just a quick overview of different programs that are available that you offer um, just so people know what they're looking at when they're thinking about the buying process and the pre-approval process. Sure, sure, and that's, that's critically important as well that you are going to work with the lender who has all these options available. There's a lot of great programs available for first-time home buyers and not first-time home buyers. But uh, uh, there's 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 government financing available, VA. You know that's no money down. There's USDA if you're looking for a house a little farther out uh, uh, the city limits. That's no money down. Uh, there's FHA, which is a good three and a half percent program. That's good for a lot of people starting out. Um, and then we have conventional insured options. So you can put as little as three percent and as little as one percent down 
in some cases. So it's really important that you start that process, talk to a mortgage lender um, who knows what they're doing, who has those programs available, um, and can walk you through that. So what you need is, is somebody to take a consultative approach with you and look at, okay, what, what are the different options they have to put down? How are these gonna play into my overall financial picture? So, you know, a lot of times with, with housing, I mean, when you're buying a house, you may wanna buy some furniture, a lawnmower. So some, some of those lower down payment programs have really, really come to help, uh, help people out. And that's, that's, that's what we always try to do. And, um, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, does it make more sense for me to pay down this credit card or to save up money for down payment? And that's where really talking to, like I said before, an experienced, uh, good mortgage lender ahead of time can, can save you a lot of, uh, save you a lot of hard times, uh, down the road and set you up best possible for the future. Yep. Tyler, I really appreciate that. Um, he's absolutely right. Those are all great things um, to address before you get in the process of actually looking for a home, which uh, on the next uh, step here is after you get your pre-approval, is actually to do the shopping process. Everybody's got some criteria that they're thinking of when they're looking for a home. And I like to sit down face to face with my buyers and have a conversation about specifically what you absolutely need in a home. And I set those as my primary parameters for setting up a search. Then I look for the things that you want in a home um, because sometimes there's gonna be things that you're gonna have to give on. There's no such thing as the perfect home out there. As much as HGTV has led people to believe, um, it's it's a kind of a give and take uh, atmosphere when you're looking for a home. So I like to sit down, get to know my buyers, find out exactly what they need, what they want, um, and kind of have those questions answered on the front end. So whenever I set up my searches, I know specifically what I'm looking for. And once we get those searches going, I always encourage people to look online as well as drive by properties to see if there's something that they're actually interested in getting into uh, and del delving into a little bit further. And then once we get those, uh, I, or those homes picked out, we set up times and we go and actually view the properties. So um, that is really the, the next step after setting up that initial meeting is going out, take a look at the properties. 84% um, of most home buyers start their search online. So I like to say get online and delve into it as much as possible. We're currently in a fairly limited inventory market, which means um, buyer demand is still high and the number of homes on the market is comparatively low. Um, so it's great to figure out the specific needs um, and leave it as open as possible to get as much information coming your way as possible and then kind of eliminate the stuff that doesn't work for you. I always tell people buying a home is a process of elimination, not a process of selection. So I want to give you too much and you tell me which ones you want to eliminate and then we get into the ones that have the most promise because that's really going to help us dial it in and find the home that best suits your needs. Once we get through that process, we find the home that you want to make the offer on first, we sit down and we do up a contract. Now. That's a daunting uh, prospect for a lot of people who haven't purchased a home before or maybe who haven't purchased a home in a while. Um, and I can tell you it's a seven page contract that really outlines everything you need to know from day one making the offer to the day you actually move into the home and everything that happens in between. Um, buying your home is generally your primary financial asset that you're gonna have in your life. It is a large investment in your life. So I think that warrants us sitting down and kind of going through that contract and knowing exactly what we're getting into. Um, I generally set aside about uh, 30 minutes or so to an hour to be able to answer all your questions because I want to make sure my buyers are the most educated they possibly can be so they know exactly what they're getting into um, and they know what questions to ask when we get through the process. So after you make the offer, we get that accepted. That's when you get into your home inspection and appraisal phase um, and that's when uh, the lending stuff kind of goes as well. Like Tyler said previously, um, that's not the time you want to find out that there are things that could go wrong in that situation, which is why it's great to have someone who's going to do a solid pre-approval before we get going to make sure that you're ready to go. So that when we're in that time frame, we're focused on the main thing, and that's getting you in your new home. So, um, like I said, this uh, roadmap for home buyers it kind of goes into detail a little bit more specifically the information that we're talking about here tonight. I do have this in a PDF form that I'd be happy to email your way. Um, instead of commenting on the video with your email address to put it out there for the public, feel free to go ahead and uh, message me directly with your email information if you're interested in getting this uh, information as well as uh, sending me a message to let me know if you want me to put you in contact with Tyler uh, to talk about the pre-approval process. Um, 
That's really all we have for tonight. I don't see a whole lot of other questions coming in at this time. I will say I am going to post this video. I'm going to save a copy and also throw it on my YouTube channel. So feel free to share this with anybody you know who may be interested in purchasing a home. I would be happy to talk with them um, and go through the whole process with them as well. Or if you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to comment after the fact and I will get those notifications as well. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking some time out to, to sit here with Tyler and myself. Um, if you think of anything you ever need, you can message me or you can give me a call at 812-779-6273 or you can reach out to Tyler at 812-568-9152 and you can also look me up on the uh, Tyler Hines Mortgage Team Facebook page. All right, guys, we really appreciate your time tonight, uh, and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks a lot for the time, and uh, let us know what questions you have. Thanks. Thanks. Have a happy new year.